does. Hello YouTubers, you're once again back here with Chavron, and I'm going to be doing my first look on Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So Mountain Blade is a game I used to enjoy a fair bit a couple years ago now. I pretty much played um, them all as they came out as well as so they're doing a lot of modded runs. For this one, I am not going to use any mods, I just want to be testing the base game and seeing pretty much how much they've improved. At the moment, it looks pretty epic just having this guy standing here with the flag. It uh, looks like he just conquered a small part of um, a land there, so <laughs> let's get straight to it with the campaign. So, uh, Mountain Blade was very uh, heavy on like what you can do with customization and like decision making. It was always like a you could always decide what you want to reply, uh, as reply as and uh, as such. Uh, was wasn't really any um voice acting in Mountain Blade. Uh, pretty much for any of the games, if there was, it was very minimal. Uh, I couldn't really, I actually can't remember any voice acting honestly. Uh, but if there's gonna be a lot of reading, I'm probably just gonna skip through and just read over key points just to save time. So we have uh. Vilandians. Uh, so Vilandians get a 20% more upgrade uh, to e uh, upgrade EXP to troops from battle. So uh, without reading, they're pretty much going to be your like very like military base. I'd uh, like to fight all the time just to get the bam. Uh, I read on the last line here they like to fight with spears and lances on horseback. So like I said, there's no voice acting as I click through. I'm just one of those guys who just like voice acting as I play games. It really just clicks for me but I enjoy this game so I am gonna keep on um, I'm just gonna have to give it a go and see how I like it afterwards uh, Sturgeons uh 20% less speed penalty from snow so pretty much gonna be like your tribal so yeah we have a tribal base faction here uh, they're good hunters and wanderers traveling as far in search of opportunities both for trade and plunder all right so pretty much like your Viking type nation there um, Empire, we have 20% construction speed, guard bonus to town projects, and war repairs and siege engines. So, very siege base um, and good guy, like just being able to spread their like buildings across the lands, I assume. So, beautiful um, and massive city wars. Uh, it makes them um, experts in siege warfare. So, pretty much, yeah, uh, very good for sieging and taking land. Uh, pretty much what empires were <laughs> for like existence here. Um, so we have uh, Syria, I think. Uh, caravans are 20% uh, cheaper to build and 10% less trade penalty. So pretty much going to be like your trade nation. Uh, so they have charis uh, charismatic uh, leader. They become a major force in the south. Uh, they pretty much start in the desert by the looks of it. Uh, next up we have the Cousettes, I think it is. 20% uh, extra speed bonus for horsemen on campaign map. So they can travel a lot faster than other nations. Uh, which is always good to have. They are masters of mounted archery shooting and then gall um, galloping out of reach which is something I like. I like the first one too because they like spears and lances on horseback. I reckon them too if they were able to like be an alliance that could be a pretty cool alliance to have uh, but recently settled in the uh, eastern um, frontier of the empire and are slowly um, transitioning into a Adrian society with a permanent town center. Alright so they aren't really like they don't really have like a land of their own like uh, as in like a what as an empire would have uh, by the looks of it but uh pr be pretty cool to try these guys out though so here we have the batarians uh so they get forest give 10 percent less speed penalty to parties all right so you're like in a way uh archer forest type um people i assume so they paint their faces when going to, uh, to battle and even their noblemen prefer to fight on foot while using great axes and two-handed swords with deadly efficiency so kind of like a viking in a way but like a forest one not really using uh bows as i thought they would be more like barbaric like which is pretty cool uh while looking at this I actually don't know what I want to be uh, these guys look alright and then like the two mountain uh, mounts here I reckon I want to go for more battle hungry I just want to get into the action and see how it goes <laughs> so straight away uh, the texture of um, your characters look a lot better so they definitely improved on what your characters look like I don't want to be changing too much here uh, probably just this color and probably make him look a bit beefy. Uh, does it really chest? Oh, you gotta click. Let them advance! Yeah, we'll go off that and we'll make him big. 
Do we want to make? Yeah, we'll make him big. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? I don't like. I said I don't want to spend too much. I don't want to randomize. Uh, change clothing. I guess we get to start with what he has there. Oh, that's just to show what he'll be wearing, I assume. Uh, but we'll go next year. I don't want to spend too much time. But choose your family. Oh, we have to choose families here. Uh, where do I? Ch I don't know which gives which here. So you were born into a family of a baron's retainers, urban merchants, yeomen, uh, urban blacksmiths, hunters, or mercenaries. Oh, I don't know what I want to do here. Mercenaries look like they could be cool. Hunters, uh, I am like, I guess I'll go hunters. I'm like a cavalry type, uh, there. So hunters wouldn't be too bad. So 10, uh, skill level and one focus point, two scatting and crossbow and one attribute, uh, point to cunning. Oh, so I don't actually have to click it straight away. I can actually read through it, which is good. Uh, so one focus point to riding and pole man and one attribute, uh, point for the social. All right. So urban is focus point to trade and charm. I'm not really interested in that one. Uh, these guys have pole arm, crossbow, and endurance. Uh, not too bad. Uh, so we have blacksmith, which is two-handed. Uh, so, so so smithing and two-handed weapons. I assume it says it should say there. Uh, but yeah, I guess scouting crossbow can be uh, something we could have. I guess we are like a mounted backer type. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> Faction, I guess. Well, you can call it. Uh, but um, focus point to rogery. What's that? Dark with the darkest side of human life. You can tell when a god wants to uh, wants a bribe. Ah, that's not too bad then. Uh, endurance will help riding there. Uh, control. I guess control of crossbows will be anywhere. Uh. So scouting, yeah, we we it sh sh says it there what it is, but I'm trying to see what it has the cavalry. So retainers have cavalry there, and then with the pole arm, there's no cavalry and bow by the looks of it, which is all good. I don't mind that. I guess I can go this one, so I can have the option of being good with a pole arm as well as having crossbow there. But I really want. Uh, it's hard to choose, honestly. I'll just go yum yeomen's here. Uh, so as a child, you're noted for. So we get to choose more. <laughs> Your leadership skills. Look, he gets a little big there. <laughs> your brawn. Uh, so this one here is your throwing. I don't really want throwing, and it gets two hands there. Cunning gives tactics and leadership, which isn't too bad to have. I remember I used to like maxing out uh, leadership and uh, uh, tactics. Uh, leadership is uh, increasing how many people you can have in your group. I think. Uh, could be wrong. I know one of them uh, did charm to make people like you, and there's trade. Uh, what else we have? So attention to detail. So we have athletics, and then we have more control. Is that? Yeah, more control, and then one-handed weapons. Uh, tip, uh, tip for numbers. So engineering, and then trade. Uh, don't really want to do that one for this run. So this one gets leadership and charm and skills with horses. So you got your endurance that just goes way uh, up. And then we have medicine. I don't really want to put anything in medicine, honestly. Uh, not at this early. That's just some, that's how I just feel about it. Uh, definitely don't know how I want to go. Probably just this one control and one handed weapons with the endurance. We'll just go off that. <sighs> There's still more. All right. So, like all village children, you helped out in the fields. You also, so we have heard the sheep, uh, worked in the village smithy. Nah. So, repaired projects, uh, gathered. Uh, I don't want to be gatherer there. Hunted small um, games. Uh, don't want to mix it. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to start with a crossbow, not really a bow. If I start with a bow, I'm going to be pretty mad. <laughs> Don't know where I want to put this one. I oh, also throwing. I'm not gonna be throw. I'm not really. I don't think I'll be throwing anything. <sighs> yeah, uh, maybe. But that's two-handed weaponry. We'll go off throwing. Maybe I'll throw the pole arm. <laughs> so as a youngster growing up in uh, Calradia, war was never too far away. So stood with gum the guard garrisons. Ooh, I like that. I rode with. 
scouts, don't want that. Uh, trained with the infantry, infantry, so that gives them two pretty good there. I actually want to go off that, so I actually have a fair bit of points on that. Uh, before you set out for a life adventure, your biggest achievement was defeat an enemy in battle. That's pretty good, I don't want two hand there though. Just gonna run through them, this one gives crossbow and, <laughs> and a bow as well. Fair few different things we have here, maybe just defeat an enemy in battle, just get that one handed weaponry up, but I feel like I need control up as well. I'll go for control, so I have a bit of a mix there. Oh wow, well, I don't want to be reading that, otherwise I'll spend too much time reading here. Oh, road all, oh, you tricked the raiders? You organize the travelers to break out. Yeah, we'll go with this one. You stole a raider. Let's see what name we land on. Dorold. <laughs> Dorold. Right, we'll go with that. Recruitment difficulty. So, you will. We'll quickly read through this one though. Receive our uh, damage ratio to your troops. Realistic. Maybe we'll just go realistic to everything. This could be very bad for me though. <laughs> Enable death. If heroes are to die on the choose if the heroes are able to die on the battlefield, we might as well let that happen. Uh so enable uh auto allocation of perks for clan for members in your clan. Yeah, I'll let that happen. I'll let them decide their own fate. That's always good to do, is it? <laughs> I think that took me like eleven minutes just to character like customization. I guess I was like <laughs> more trying to pick what I want. Good thing I didn't read through everything because that would have taken ages for me. <laughs> oh. Come on, let's go. There we go. Alright, so no voice acting still, brother. It's been three days now. Uh, we've been tracking those bastards. I think we are getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Varit and Alda? Alda? Yeah, we are up for a fight. Looks like an old training field for other legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush off our skills. The practice could help come up useful. Could come up useful when we catch up with the raiders. So I'm going to run the course. I need to know if I can fight if I have to. I guess this is like the tutorial. I want to do the tutorial. It'll be good to know uh, the controls again. All right. Oh, that's your kick. <laughs> there you go. Enter the training ground. Is it this one? Enter a training ground. Oh, say we get to choose. We'll go combat. Is there a sprint? Can't tell if you can sprint. Alright, choose a weapon. Alright. Like a sword and shield. How do I pick it up? Should say somewhere. Who's that? Oh, there is training in there. I'm trying to choose. Oh, there we go. Sword and shield. Let's do it. <laughs> what is he doing? He's not fighting back. Defend from the left. Alright, defend from the right. Defend f up. Okay. Defend down. Defend from down. I'm doing it! Oh, there we go. Is that right? Oh, you actually got <laughs> look down. <laughs> Attack from left. Oh, there we go. Attack front up. Try. Oh, so you just use the mouse. Okay. That's getting a bit under a bit more understandable now. I haven't played this in ages. We we'll choose another weapon. Or go to another uh, training area. We'll go to another training area. So I'll go off. I don't want to use a spear, I wanna go back to what I was using. No, 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 no. There we go, sword and shield. I'm keen on sword and shield. 
So, oh, we're actually going to be in proper fight. Sweet. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. This guy's tiny <laughs> compared to me. <laughs> I guess I made my guy like maxed out in size though. Glory! Oh no. no. <laughs> I got him. I got him. I don't have him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> He's getting me! <laughs> Alright. No more. No more. You're gonna beat me. <laughs> oh, I just got it. <laughs> you successfully beaten a rookie trainer. Go to a veteran trainer. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh god, this guy attacks so quick. Ooh. Loving this already. <laughs> Move it away. Yes! I got it! Oh, that was so good. Alright, that seems good. Where do we go now? Finish, uh, successfully finish the training. Do we just go back now? I guess you can't really sprint. I'm trying to figure out how to sprint. That's all I really care about. Alright, let's talk to this guy. I'm really scared. Hopefully we don't die in our first fight because I was intense already. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, I thought it froze for a sec there. So, so far, I'm enjoying the game. Uh, it's not too bad. So, you are at the training field. You can learn the basics of combat here. Alright, not what we want. Pause, how do I unpause? Start us move. Leave. Ah, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, I had to click leave, leave. This is where we want to go. Is it? Am I going the right way? Ah, it's this one. Guess we want to stay away from that party. They look like big as hell. Oh, am I going to the wrong one? Ah, oh, it's this one. <laughs> oh, there you go. Double tap to make it go quicker. I guess we might be getting to a little bit, a bit of a fight here. Not too bad. I like the lack of bit of action coming. I like the artwork they've done with a couple of things uh, so far. Uh, so, we're here, I guess so. Uh, we need food and after that maybe some men to come with us. It was a gathering a small group, I guess. This guy's like your friend you start with. Not too bad. You can hold left alt key to see the location of the head man. Uh, once you're near him, press F to speak with him. I oh, say so left alt. There we go. Ooh, hold up. Is this guy gonna battle me or something? <laughs> hey man of this village, what brings you here? 
we need help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. Uh, we think uh, they may have passed this way. Uh, they got uh, your people too. Sorry to hear that. Uh, those bastards have uh, done a, a bit of the killing and looting in these uh, parts as well. Uh, we think they've gone uh, gone north. I reckon uh, there are a few folk around here who'll join you uh, in going after them if you pay uh, for their gear. Alrighties. So once you've made your pre uh, preparations, come and talk to me again. Uh, I may have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. So we need to find... So to leave a mission, you can hold down the tab key. Uh, this will turn you to some subtle uh, men uh, menu where you can purchase and recruit supplies. Ooh. Let's do that. Nice. So what troops? Do we just recruit them all? Uh, notable, um, notable help uh, you recruit more and better uh, higher level uh, troops according to your relation with them. Uh, click on some troops to move to your party. We'll take them all. Can I recruit all? Oh no. Oh yeah I can. I thought that was like negative for some reason but my goal is there. So yeah, we'll create that many people and buy products to gear them up. So your brother recommends that you purchase two sacks of grain. Uh, you can do this by transferring them into your infantry. Alright. That's two sacks. Uh, so that to feed your troops as you're traveling I assume. They had to do that last time. Uh, do I get some weapons and such? Oh, I changed to it. Maybe he just doesn't have any. Alright, we'll just go done there. Uh, we have finished our preparations. Let's talk to the headman again. He said he may have a task for us. Do I just click here? Ah, oh, damn, I've got to actually go back to it. So I'm glad you found what you needed. Uh, now about that matter I mentioned earlier. Uh, there's this wandering doctor who come, uh, comes through here uh, from time to time. Name of uh, Tatius. Uh, treats people for uh, free. Uh, we are fond of him. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. Uh, he was carrying some sort of chest which he uh, was very mysterious about. He was in some sort of quest he said, uh, though wouldn't tell us more. Alright, so he's just gonna skip through that so to leave a mission yeah we're gonna leave again we're gonna rescue people and go through this loading screen again <laughs> oh wasn't that didn't take long so I guess we leave and we gotta find where these bandits are I guess I just check them all attack these bandits. Get in my way. <laughs> if you made it this far definitely let me know uh, what you think about this game uh, and if you're going to be picking it up yourself. Uh, so far it looks like it's a pretty uh, fair decent improvement uh, to the older uh, mountain blades so you can tell your men to charge uh, by opening the movement orders with F1 and then choosing uh, charge of F3 so F1 hey that's pretty cool so F3 to charge. charge and there we go I was trying to figure out how to change weapons again oh bit of a I think still um, loading by the looks of it there anyway, it's done now are they still going in? Alright, they're still going in. They're throwing stuff at me. God damn. Oh, I was out of range. Yeah, this is something I definitely need to get used to. Let's try it again. <laughs> Bloody hell, I missed so bad just then. Alright. Next attempt. Ah, 
I don't think I hit anyone but I think they did everything for me. So I don't really have a bow, which sucks. I really wanted to use one, or crossbow at least. So press tab because we won. <coughs> nah, my men won. <laughs> they did everything for me. I should be the leader that just sits back and orders the men around. <laughs> I'll be pretty good at that. So, what can we take? So, we can take prisoners. After a hard fought battle, you have the choice to take some prisoners or recruit those that have that you have freed uh, from your enemy. So both options are done by transferring the troops to your party uh, with little uh, arrow, with a little arrow on the left. Alright, I want to transfer. Nah, no. Nah, so just prisoners. They don't want to be troops. <laughs> We got them, so we could. What to take? Might as well take these things. Might be good to sell. I will do one more battle and then I'll probably cut it there uh, just to see how this ends up going for us. So, like I said, just my first look. I just wanted to get the gist of what the game is like. Uh, definitely, if you guys uh, want to see more of this game, let me know and I'll definitely play more. Uh, I don't hate this game, I like, I've always liked playing it, so like I've said, so I wouldn't mind doing more if you guys want to be seeing more of it. Uh, so straight away, I need to get these guys charging, Charge! and hopefully I hit someone this time. I delivered one damage, and that was because of my mount. Alright, that's one way to do it. Oh god. One damage, because of my mount again. You know what, can I get off this? I feel like I just need to get off. There we go. Maybe this will work. Oh. Oh, he did so much damage to me. Oh no. I think this was a bad idea. Men, help me. Oh, I should have stayed on the mount. I got like hit me in. Two hits and I was down. So was that dead dead? Is that it? Oh, I ended up winning. But I lost someone by I said I've lost someone. Dead one. A no gland. Who was that guy? Is that like the helper? I planted zero gold, more prisoners. I guess he's still with me. Maybe. Maybe he just went down. Oh, a lot more things to loot this time. Definitely take them all. Everyone looks fun so far. Let me see the characters. Oh, I'm gonna have to learn all this stuff as well. <laughs> oh, that looks like a lot of things to look at. Uh, but uh, this is going to be me done for um, now. I don't want to be spending too much time on this. Uh, if you, Like I said, if you want to see more of this game, let me know and I'll definitely uh, be doing more of it. Uh, if you uh, guys uh, like the game uh, yourself, uh, let me know uh, what you're going to be doing and what mods you're going to be trying out. If there are um, many out so far, because I think this game is still fairly new. Uh, I've, I've personally been waiting for the game. I only just saw it up on Steam, so uh, could have been out for a bit. I don't know. I haven't actually checked that much yet. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, uh, feel free to support me by liking this video or subscribing to my channel. And you guys will be definitely be seeing me next time. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>